Before this video gets started, I'd say the first thing you should do is go and sign up for a GitHub account. It's completely free. Just go to github.com and sign up for an account because you will need that in this video. So you can hit pause right now if you don't already have one, go and sign up and then come back. So I can't use our Tasky application because as you may have already noticed, we already have it right here. I've been uh, doing commits throughout the entire recording process so that you'd have access to this uh, so that you could reference a code and compare it with yours, that kind of thing. So I'm going, what I did is I created just a completely empty Rails project. Uh, if you do type LS, you'll see it's just a very normal. I haven't done a single thing to it. We're just going to learn how to use GitHub with it and push to it. So the very first thing to do is to type in git init. So type in git init and it says reinitialized existing git repository in here. So that's all good. Now if I do git status, it'll say I'm on the branch master. So, oh, I'm sorry, I'm actually on the tasky one. That, that makes more sense. Um, okay, sorry. Now if I go back to the other one, there we go. So initialize empty git repository. If I do git status, it shows me everything that is untracked. Now this is not a Git course, uh, so we're not gonna go into every single detail on what all of this means. I'm simply gonna teach you what you need to be able to get your code from your local machine up to GitHub and then to Heroku. So the next step is going to be, I'll type in clear to come up the top, type git add space period. Now if you do git status, you'll see something different. Now you see all the files got added and now they're just waiting for us to commit them. So to commit them, do git ci space dash m and then just say initial commit. And you could say anything you wanted here. Uh, this is the message that's gonna be sent up. So do that. Now if you do git status, you can see it says nothing to commit working directory is clean. So everything is good on this side. Now now that everything's ready, now we have to go create a repository on here. So to do that, come up the right hand side, type in new repo or click on new repository. And pardon my very slow internet, I'm working from a remote location right now and it's uh, pretty slow. But uh, while this is going, just know what GitHub is, is it gives you a centralized repository for pushing your code up. So you can push all your code up. If your machine crashes, anything like that, you'll be able to just pull the code down at any time, or you can have other developers work on a project with you. It's really a great service. I use it every single day, and uh, I'm, I'm a huge fan. So I'm just gonna call this repo get test. And you could see uh, after it's done, it's gonna validate it to make sure that I can use that name. Uh, I don't believe I have anything called get test, so I should be good. You could add a description. I'm not gonna add one. And then you have the option between having a public or a private account or a repo. Uh, for all of my production projects, for the most part, they're private because people pay me to build them. And so uh, I, I'm not gonna let the world see that code. But for my open source projects, those are public. And the nice thing is with these ones, these are completely free. So as long as you're using open source projects, GitHub is completely free to use. Uh, also, don't do this initialize with a repository or else you're going to have to do some things like pulling this repo down, merging it in. Uh, it's a lot better to just use what Rails gives us right out of the box. So click on create repository and that's going to create a repo. So we'd be able to go to github.com slash Jordan Hudgens slash git test and uh, it's creating it right now and it's going to create an empty one. So what we need to do is to be able to push up to it. So you, you can ignore all of this right now and just click on copy to clipboard right here for or push an existing repository from the command line, which is what we have, and then come back to the command line here paste it in and then it's going it may or may not ask you for your username and password uh, you need to make sure that you've integrated if you never used git before 
or GitHub before, you need to make sure that you've added your SSH keys, uh, which they have tons of instructions on how to do that. Uh, it, it'll even give you the commands to enter in the terminal and then you just paste them into your GitHub account. So it's a way of securing your system with theirs. So I've done that and what this is doing, I added a remote origin and this is, you may notice, github.com slash Jordan Hudgens slash get test. So this is our remote repo. And then I said git push dash u origin master. And this is what they gave me when I copied it here. So this looks like it all worked. Now if I click get test or if I hit refresh, then we're going to see it's no longer an empty repository on GitHub anymore, but instead all of our code for the application, or in this case the test application that I built, will all get pushed up and you'll have access to it and there you go. You can see we have our app directory, bin, config, everything like that. It even put up from Rails the, the sample readme and that's why I didn't click to add a readme because there would have been a conflict right here. So that is it. If you've gone through that, you now have a repo on Git, and uh, the next step is going to be connecting this with Heroku so we can push our master branch right here. If you click on branch, uh, this will take you to your list of branches, and you can see we have a master branch, and we can push this onto Heroku and get our application live on the web.